Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Sorry I'm late. You're sweating. How are you getting on with the book? Well, these two pages are admirable, but it would be nice to go on. I've been staring at these for about an hour now. You can turn over, Alan. No, I'm afraid I've lost both my arms. The left, as you can see, is gone, and if you look closely, you'll see that the right is artificial. But you did it all right this morning, darling. Here you are. I don't want it. These people certainly believe in getting their money's worth out of you. Oh, I went to a newsreel for half an hour with Bob Marion. I rather enjoyed it. Good. Uh, good. I, I wish you'd do that sort of thing more often, though. It was pure selfishness. Just wanted to. Now, how about some food? Of course you wanted to. Why shouldn't you? <laughs> you know, you take your responsibilities too seriously, darling. Do I? See, where did I put that opener? It's a great relief when you just go and do something you want to do, like going out with... What's his name? Bob Marriott. Quite nice. The sort of person who wants to hold hands in pictures. That's the sort of person we all are, darling. What a pleasant change for you to have a hand to hold, eh? <laughs> I said, what a pleasant change for you to have a hand to hold. When I make a joke as good as that, darling, you might laugh. Alan, don't. Because, after all, a man who's got two hands, real hands, can do such a lot of things with them besides just holding yours. You want those things, don't you? And why not? Why hang around here being bored and disgusted? When I want to go, I'll tell you. That's right. The day you want to get rid of me, just pack me up, stick a label on me, and send me to an institution. Until then, stand by my side. Noble, virtuous, self-sacrificing. Except when you feel like doing something else. Come on. Food. I don't want the bloody stuff. I haven't forgotten it's my duty dinner with Doc Scholl and his wife tonight, have you? Oh, Lord, does that come round again already? Yes. Who shall I get in for you? Sam? I suppose so. No, how about Bob? Married? Yeah. Why? Why not? I'd like to meet him again, I dare say. You'd like to meet me. You ask him and see. I certainly shan't. What's the objection to my liking somebody who happens to like you? Sam's used to doing things for you. Even a scientist can be taught to give a man his food, then. Forget it, Alan. You just enjoy leading him on. You'll encourage him in a lot of silly talk, and it's bad for both of you. Uh, darling, uh, mm, it must have something apart from two arms. I'd like to find out what it is. Man can't help being interested in his rival, though. Stop fooling. Who's it to be? I told you I want Bob. But you can't have him. If I had the use of my arms, you'd think twice before talking to me like that. <laughs> All right, darling. You win. Well, who? You can't stay here alone. I shan't. 